And tell me, aren't you Gracie Allen? Yes, I am. <laughs> Well, excuse me for taking liberties, but I'm Mrs. Charles Gibson, and I'm a very dear friend of Harry Von Zell's. Oh, well, if your husband doesn't mind you taking liberties with Harry, we certainly don't do we, Blanche. Well, how's the most gorgeous, beautiful creature in the whole world? Oh, Ronnie, I'm in no mood for flattery. And, uh... Have you, um, have you done much of this tutoring? Oh, quite a bit, Mrs. Burns. I work mostly with students who have fallen behind. Oh? Well, George isn't like that. He may sag a little in front, but he's got a fine figure. Oh, you know, I still have to find a pair of shoes. Oh, I must have tried on dozens of pairs. As a matter of fact, the manager had two salesmen waiting on me. Oh, and the salesmen couldn't find any for you? They were too tight? Oh, well, then you should have reported them to the management. You know, salesmen have no right to be drinking on the job. Well, uh... Uh, chicken will fit any occasion. I'm a very good hand with chicken. Oh, is that what you fix best? Oh, my husband loves it. Boiled, fried, or stewed, it's his favorite food. Oh. <laughs> What's his favorite food when he's sober? <laughs> oh, he's not by any chance one of the shoe salesmen who pinched Blanche's foot. <laughs> now take my cousin Sidney. Oh, that's Hazel's boy. That's the kid who used to stand on his head all the time. Yes, you know, a lot of people even thought he wasn't quite right. Well, imagine that. But Sidney was very smart. When he got tired uh, standing around on his head, he learned to hop on it. Like, uh, like a pogo stick. Yes, he used to hop to the store and back on his head. Well, good for Sidney. Oh, and one day it was raining, and he took his hat off, and he went waiting in the gutter. Did he catch cold? Yes, but it wasn't serious. The doctor put him to bed and told him to stay off his head for a few days. Mrs. Burns. The stuff will be loaded on the truck immediately, but I must warn you that any transaction of this size must be strictly COD. Oh, you can trust me. I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Let's try the eye test. All right. Please put this little white card over your eye. You got one eye closed? Yes. All right, what do you see? The little white card. <laughs> no, no, I mean, what do you see with the other eye? Oh, nothing. That's the one I have closed. Some cooks fix the lamb chops with paper panties on, but not me. Oh. Well, as I was saying, nobody will see anyway, so you can wear what you want. <laughs> All right, now take Mrs. Grosvenor. She's been begging her husband to let her take a trip for years. And yesterday, he finally told her that she could have a choice between um, going to have her face lifted or the Bahamas. Which did she choose? Well, I don't know. But I told her, stop with your Bahamas. And if it turns out all right, then you can have your face lifted too. 